This is a review of the iPhone 6s. Oh yeah, and the iPhone 6s Plus. They look exactly like the iPhones released a year ago. You know the phones millions of people are walking around with? These lovely ladies all have one. He's got one. Heck, this guy's probably got one. So what the heck do all these people have to do with the new phones? Well, the iPhone 6 took care of so many of the complaints people had about their iPhones, especially the bigger screen. In fact, the iPhone 6 is almost the perfect smartphone. Almost. And that's why we're here, to find out if the iPhone 6S addresses the remaining complaints. Battery life. Oh, battery life. It's pretty much universally agreed upon. The number one thing people want in their smartphone is better battery life. That's why it pains me to say that the iPhone 6S gets barely any more battery life than the iPhone 6. An iPhone 6S and 6S Plus lasted just as long on my web surfing test as the previous models. But because of the new camera tricks, I actually felt like I was charging the phones more frequently. The real bummer? The new phone is slightly heavier, three marshmallows heavier. But the battery inside is actually slightly smaller. This iPhone that's great, but I guess slow sometimes. Yeah, I've heard that before. But the reason people's phones get so slow now is because they're doing so much more on them. Fortunately, the iPhone 6S was built to handle more. The new A9 processor is speedier, and there's now two gigabytes of RAM. Compared to the iPhone 6, exporting video was three times faster, and jumping between apps was also quicker. Every time I take a selfie, I run out of space. Good news and bad news. Good news, you'll take better, more dynamic photos, even selfies. Bad news, you'll take up more space. The new live photos are my favorite thing about the 6S. They can capture the still photo plus some live action before and after. They're awesome for reliving fun moments, but they take up two to three times as much space as an iPhone 6 photo. Then there's the very sharp 4K video you can capture. I actually captured this entire clip with the iPhone 6S Plus, but be careful. It will take up six times the amount of space as a regular HD video, and you'll need a 4K screen to really take advantage of it. I wish you could uh, touch the screen a bit harder. Yeah, I made him say that. Out of the hundreds of people I've spoken to this week, none have said that. But they may at some point. The 6S's most innovative feature is called 3D Touch. Press hard on some apps or inside the app, and you get taken to some quick shortcuts. It has the potential to make us much faster on our phones, but right now, it doesn't work everywhere I want it to. The people have spoken, and now it's my turn. The iPhone 6S is a slightly better iPhone than the 6. That's really what the S stands for. If you're gonna buy one, make sure to get one with at least 64 gigabytes of storage. As for the other complaints, <clears throat> battery life, we'll have to see what the iPhone 7 brings. Why can't it teleport me back to Canada? <laughs>